Welcome to Natural Alternatives. My name is Ernest Hutta. I'm the founder and director of the clinic here. And I'd like to introduce you to an opportunity to learn about a muscle that uh, is very, very commonly misconstrued when it comes to the issues of plantar fasciitis, knee pain, uh, chronic ankle pain, uh, calf pain, and many practitioners not realizing that this one small little muscle is, is uh, responsible for a lot of dysfunction in the knee, ankle, and arch of the foot. And how it plays into dysfunction is very, very uh, incredible because it's a support structure, a secondary support structure to the back of the knee, uh, but also it's anchor site in, in the inside edge of the, uh, of, the, um, of the heel counts. And this muscle is called the plantaris. So what I'm gonna do is actually kind of do a little overlay here so you can see that this muscle is anchored up here and I've got a pad on, on the client here up in the back of the knee here. And so I'm gonna be using microcurrent therapy to actually treat this muscle. And it comes and anchors, as you can see from here, very short muscle span and a long tendofascial span that goes all the way down to the inside edge of the heel. So people who suffer with chronic pronation or um, inversion, eversion issues of the, of the ankle, uh, problems involving the back of the knee, um, especially going up and down stairs, may not realize that that is coming because of an injury involving this muscle called the plantaris. Now the play is, there's so much talked about plantar fasciitis, which is in fact a muscle in the bottom of the foot that is called the plantar. And so people will many times confuse the plantar with the plantaris. And so today, again, we're gonna spend our time and energy focused on, on, on addressing the plantaris and helping people understand how and why that muscle is so crucial to the function of the knee, ankle, and arch. Now, the key here about natural alternatives is we are a, a group of practitioners that work together. Myself as the director, Dr. Mark Wheaton, Dr. Dave Gottenborg, and Dr. Dave Andrus, all working together along with six therapists. And our goal with the synergy of these practitioners is to help facilitate the healing and rejuvenation of your health. And this one little issue is something that I have seen time and time and time again in our clinic. People walking in where they've gone through physical therapy, maybe even had cortisone shots and, and medications, anti-inflammatories, to try to address pain that involves the knee, the ankle, and the arch, and not realizing this muscle is the key. So what I've done here is I've set her up right now so that I'm treating from the tendofascial attachment on the inside. Actually, it's driving the current up through that tendofascial structure, and I've got the pad higher up in the back of her hamstring. And so I'm going to actually get in here and treat this muscle. And interestingly enough, as I showed you from the picture, this muscle is a very, very short muscle. It's not very long. And it's a tendofascial attachment is on the backside or the posterior and, and inferior edge of the, of the um, femur, the upper leg bone. And so we're gonna treat this muscle. I'll also incorporate a little bit of the fascia and the tendon, but remember, tendons have no blood supply. They recruit blood from other areas of the, of the body and especially from the bone. So again, another common misnomer involves the issue of tendonitis, very common in the wrist and shoulders and so on and so forth, when in fact the blood that is created to create the inflammation is actually drawn from the bone or the muscle. So the tendon itself doesn't have blood supply. But again, there's so much recruited fascia that's involved here that I'm gonna go through and treat this, this entire structure all the way down because in this tendofascial band that is here, there's other structures that are tied together that help affect the, the uh, function of the calf muscle. So if this plantaris has been injured, very common in skiing injuries, slipping and falling down a set of stairs, icy spills outside on your sidewalk, that this muscle, which is a posterior support structure, will end up getting injured. And so my goal is to go in and repair. And again, I'm running the current. I'm using an electroacuscope, a very powerful um, biofeedback device. And I'm using this to go in and repair and regenerate this muscle. And again, the associated fascia that comes into it. And the key of why microcurrent therapy works in the human body is it, sub it stimulates a substance that is called ATP or adenosine triphosphate. And this little chemical is responsible for the regeneration, rejuvenation of cells in the body, nerve cells, skin cells, muscle cells, all over the human body. And so our goal through exercise and all these different things that we do, health, diet, nutrition, supplementation, is, is geared around the idea of stimulating ATP production in the human body. Well, the electroacuscope does that very, very powerfully. So again, looking back at the, the chart we had, if you see from the top to the bottom, and its pattern is diagonal to this calf, it really affects the inversion and eversion of the ankle, pronation function of the ankle. Um, so again, if this is a weak or damaged muscle, it needs to be repaired so you can get full function and get the, the support of the knee back and get your ankle to perform properly. So again, 
I'd love to welcome you to an opportunity to come in and experience what we do in Natural Alternatives, um, helping facilitate healing, regeneration, rejuvenation of your health. But these kind of little minor things can really incapacitate our, our, our body's ability to do simple things, going up and down stairs, sports, activities, anything that you can imagine. Muscles like this can compromise our ability to function. Thank you. And again, go to naturalterms.com. That's natural with the E at the end of it, or you can also contact our clinic at, uh, in Monaga at 218-564-4200. We also clinic in Fargo, Alexandria, and also in the Twin City area. We offer opportunities in many locations for people to come in and get this kind of help. Thank you. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life.